Hello, it's Leslie Fightmaster, and welcome to Fightmaster Yoga. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here. Today's class is designed for those who have issues with their wrists, so we won't be putting any pressure on the wrists during this class today. So take a comfortable seat, sitting up nice and tall, and start to find your breath, and closing the eyes, and then take a moment to Think of something you're very grateful for today. Let's bring the hands together in front of the heart. And we'll keep focus on that gratitude throughout our practice. And then let the hands release. Sitting nice and tall. You're going to make fists with the hands so that you're not pressing the wrists. Inhale, bring your chest forward, widen the collarbones, and then exhale, round the back, drop your chin in towards your chest. And again, inhale, widen across the chest, bring the heart forward, exhale, and round the back, drop the chin. Inhale, bring the chest through the gates of the arms, and exhale around the back, just moving the spine a little bit here. Let's do one more. Inhale, looking up slightly, and exhale, pull the belly in, draw the rib cage in and up. And come to center. Inhale, sweep both arms up, reach up nice and tall, palms will face each other, let the shoulder blades release, keep the ribs in. And then exhale, take the hands halfway down, and then all the way back to the ground. And again, palms up as you inhale to reach up tall. And then palms out as you exhale. Now halfway down, pause. Face the palms up again. Lift the chest, but allow the shoulder blades to release. Keep your chin level with the floor. And now take your palms or your hands behind you and press your fists together behind your back. Sitting up nice and tall, roll the shoulder heads back. So we're getting a nice opening in the chest, bringing the shoulder blades a little bit closer to one another and then turn your head to the right. And then back to center, inhale, exhale, and turn your head to the left. So just a little bit of a twist to the left. Keep those collarbones nice and wide. And then back to center. And then exhale, release that. If you're sitting on a blanket like I was, you can put it off to the side. Interlace your fingers, come onto your forearms and your knees. So this is going to be dolphin pose. Make sure the elbows do not go wider than the shoulders. Tuck the toes, lift up and back for dolphin. And then bending one knee in the other, like we do in downward facing dog, but we won't have any pressure on the wrist. So we'll be doing dolphin pose more today as we move through our sun salutations. Bend both knees and then reach the heels toward the floor. Keep your hips up nice and high. Draw in through the belly. Keep lifting the shoulders up toward the waist gently. Now take a step back about a foot and then inhale, make your way to dolphin plank. You can always take your knees down if you wish. This is some core work. So we try to get the hips and the shoulders about the same line. My hips look a little bit high actually. So, and then exhale, we'll take the belly down for sphinx pose. So this will be our little back bend. Widen across the collarbones, press all 10 toenails into the floor. Tailbone will reach toward the heels as the pubic bone presses down. Lift the belly away from the floor. And then interlace again. Tuck the toes under. Make your way back into dolphin pose. So again, you're going to lift the shoulders away from the floor gently as you pull the ribs and belly in. Firm the legs. And then we'll come down to the knees. Take the hands off the floor. Step one foot forward and the other foot forward and come into mountain pose. Tadasana. Finding your nice Tadasana here. Evenly pressing through the feet from the legs, lift through the belly. 
inhale sweep the arms up look up if that's fine with your neck exhale hinge from the hips and fold forward no pressure on the hands inhale halfway up lengthen so exhale fold in again hips right over the heels if the legs are straight but you can bend inhale press through the feet sweep the arms out around and up and look up and then exhale the hands down and again inhale sweep the arms out around and up looking up exhale hinge forward from your hips as you fold in crown of the head reaches toward the floor inhale lengthen the spine look up this time bend the knees I'm going to take left knee and then right knee down come onto the forearms and make your way into dolphin plank and holding dolphin plank just for a breath or two then allow your body to come down legs come down for sphinx pose make sure those elbows are not wider than the shoulders then back up onto the elbows and lift the hips for dolphin pose so this will be our sun salutation today we'll do the whole thing on the forearms protecting our wrists and still moving with the breath continue steady breathing then come back to the knees and take the hands off the floor step one foot forward step the other foot forward back to Tadasana back to mountain pose inhale sweep the arms up exhale hinge forward from the hips and fold in inhale halfway lift lengthen exhale without touching the floor you'll bend the knees take the knees down and step back into dolphin plank elbows no wider than shoulders here breathing and then drop the belly and legs inhale sphinx pose all ten toenails press down inner thighs spin up then tuck the toes and stretch back for dolphin so the the legs and feet are about hips distance apart and the elbows no wider than the shoulders and just like in down dog you want to spin the outer upper arms the triceps back and the inner upper arms the biceps forward come back to the knees release the hands from the floor keep the belly lifted as you step one foot and the other foot forward to find samastitihi tadasana turn toward the long way of your mat and step your feet out nice and wide turn your right leg all the way out inhale arms to a t and exhale for warrior two your feet are lined up front heel with back arch pressing the back thigh back the back inner thigh slightly lifts gaze over your fingertips as you breathe release any tension in the neck or in the jaw then you're going to take the left arm around the waist and reverse your warrior so stretch out the right side of the body inhale come up exhale take right forearm to the right thigh reach the left arm in line with the ear gently pressing the right forearm down to lengthen the side body so lengthening from the right waist through the right armpit and then inhale come up warrior two and then straighten the leg feet to parallel left leg out back toes in heel to arch in the second side warrior two lift the chest again shoulder blades release toward the waist gently steady breathing and remember that gratitude whatever you're grateful for keep that in mind today during your practice and then bring the right hand around the waist reverse stretching out the left side of the body inhale come up lean forward get a little length and then left form to left thigh right arm up and over so the left form rests on the thigh again lengthen from the left side waist through the left armpit and inhale to come up and we'll straighten that leg take the feet to parallel hands on hips inhale open up through the chest lengthen and then exhale come forward hands will stay on the hips crown of the head will reach toward the floor may or may not touch make sure to firm the legs and check where the weight is in the feet shift it toward the balls of the feet if it's all hanging out in your heels that's where it likes to go lift the belly and just gaze off the tip of the nose squeeze an imaginary beach ball between the legs also hold on to the legs if you wish your hands to low back and inhale come on up with a long spine 
and hop your feet together or step. Turn back to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift the chest, firm the belly, and bend the knees. Utkatasana, chair pose. Weight into the heels here, and then exhale and fold forward. Take an inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forms down as you step back into plank pose. Elbows no wider than shoulders. Take a moment to check. Then lower down. Inhale, sphinx pose. Pull the shoulder blades toward the waist. Exhale, tuck the toes, dolphin pose. Pull the ribs and the belly in. Now we'll come back down onto the knees. Step one foot forward. Inhale, the right foot is forward for warrior one. Reach up nice and tall. And then onto the ball of the back foot as you take the knees down. And we'll make our way back into dolphin plank. Exhale, lower for sphinx pose as you inhale, widen the collarbones. And then exhale back to dolphin pose. So we're doing a Surya Namaskar B without using our wrists. Back to the knees. We'll step the left foot all the way up. And take the back foot flat, inhale, warrior one. We're lined up left heel with right heel, heel to heel. Pull the left hip back, lengthen through the lower back. And then exhale, back to the forearms. Take the right knee down. And then come into dolphin plank. And then as you take your next inhale, drop down for sphinx pose. Pull the shoulder blades toward the waist. And then exhale, tuck the toes back into dolphin pose. Keep lifting the shoulders away from the floor. Gaze between your knees or your feet and breathe here. Remember, you can always push pause and rest or take the knees down for child's pose. Now I'll we'll take the knees down to step one foot forward and then the other back into Utkatasana, chair pose, and then exhale back to Samastitihi. the belly drawing in we'll inhale again this time step your left foot back line up front heel with back heel so left foot is flat bend the elbows press your fists together gently open the chest inhale and exhale fold for parsvottanasana pull the right hip back press into the base of the big toe of your right foot imagine you're holding a yoga block between the inner thighs Keep the shoulder heads lifted. Inhale, come up. Now I'll take the left hand to the floor in a fist if you can reach, right arm up. Otherwise, you can take your left hand to a block or your shin and keep it there. Twisted triangle, but pull your right hip back, keeping the hips level. Come back to center. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, step the feet together. Finding Tadasana again. Now we'll step the right foot back, left foot is forward, inhale arms to a T, line up heel to heel, so hips and shoulders square to the front of the mat, then exhale, hinge from the hips, come forward. Keep pulling that left hip back and press into the base of the big toe of the left foot. Inner thighs are drawing in toward one another for stability. Press to the outer edge of the back foot and lengthen the spine as much as you can. Lifting the shoulder heads without lifting the elbows. It's a little tricky. See if you can play with that for a moment. And come halfway up. Take the right fist to the floor and turn, lifting up through the left arm. Remember, you can always use a block here. You can also put your right hand on your shin. Keep pulling back on the left hip. So you can get a nice twist as you inhale, lengthen. Take your left hand down and back to Tadasana, back to the front of the mat. Inhale, sweep up through the arms, look up, exhale, and fold forward. Hips over the heels if the legs straighten. Inhale, come halfway up, bend the knees, take the fists onto the floor so you can step back onto your knees. And then shift your hips off to the right. So you're sitting on your buns and we'll make our way onto our backs for bridge pose. So the feet are hips distance apart, outer edges of the feet parallel. Pull the belly in, press up into bridge, low back, mid back, maybe upper back. 
and roll the shoulders under. If you can interlace your fingers, you'll interlace, interlace. Otherwise, just roll the shoulders under. Keep the chin away from the chest. Spiral the thighs in toward each other as if you're holding a block. And exhale, lower down to rest. Take the soles of your feet together and let your knees drop apart. Supta Baddha Konasana to rest. Remember here what it was that you set for your gratitude for what you're, you're grateful for today. Now let's take the feet back to the floor, hips width apart, heels under the knees, press into the heels, inhale to lift up. Again, roll the shoulders under if you can. Keep the chin away from the chest to keep the neck nice and long. And lifting your frontal hip points slightly towards your lower ribs will create more length in your lower back. Lower down. And soles the feet together, knees apart to rest. Thinking of what we're grateful for today. Let's do one more. Take the feet hips width apart. Or no, we're not going to do one more. Roll to your right side instead. Just kidding, no more. Roll to the right. Make a fist with your left hand to press yourself up to seated. And then we'll cross with the shins and onto the knees. The knees are hips distance apart. And a pull in through the belly and leaning back, creating length. The tailbone's gonna lengthen, the hip bones will lift. I just have my hands on my legs, then squeeze the legs toward each other, come on up. Inhale, arms to a T, press the fists together again behind you, roll the shoulder heads back. The hips will go slightly forward as you start to lean back, widen the collarbones. Come on up, inhale, and then sit back into a child's pose. Lengthen the spine here, allow the crown of the head or the forehead to rest on the floor if it will, as the hips and heels rest. And then come on up, shifting off to one side, back to seated. Extend the legs in front of you. Pull the toes back for Dandasana. And inhale, arms reach nice and tall. Exhale, hinge forward from the hips. Lengthen as you inhale. Exhale to extend. So if you can hold on to your legs or your feet, you'll hold. Otherwise, you can just rest your hands on the sides of your ankles. So you're not putting any pressure on the wrists. Depends how the wrists are. I had a student who fell off of a ladder right before teacher training and she couldn't put any pressure on her wrists for six months. So I learned a lot from her watching her practice. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, release. And then take the soles of feet together, knees apart. Lengthen as you inhale and exhale. Let's take the feet a little forward and fold forward. So get a comfortable Baddha Konasana stretch. So the closer your heels are to your torso, the more you'll feel it on the inner thighs and maybe the outer hips a little. The further forward your feet go, the more you might get a stretch in the low back. Inhale, come on up, take the knees together. And then slowly make your way onto your back. Draw the right knee into the chest and exhale, take it over to the left, look over your right shoulder. a few long breaths. So if you do have wrists that are temporarily injured or maybe you just can't put pressure on your wrists, either way, you can always kind of find out new things in your practice. Come back to center, draw the left knee in, extend the right leg out, take the left leg over to the right side. Look over the left shoulder. My student who couldn't put pressure on her wrists for six months, she got very strong in her shoulders and in her abdominal muscles from practicing without being on the hands. So there's always something that is good that can come out of an injury. Just gotta look. Sometimes you just gotta look. Come back to center. 
And we'll make our way into our final resting pose, into Shavasana. So allow your feet to flop open, arms by your sides, your palms facing up. Shoulder blades draw toward the waist gently, the hips gently draw toward the heels. Close your eyes, relax, and I'm going to be quiet. I'll be back shortly. As you're resting, I have our quote for today from Mary Ford. What you find in your mind is what you put there. Put good things in there. What you find in your mind is what you put there. So put good things in there. So as you're resting here, just start to take some longer breaths. bringing some awareness back into the body, little movements in your hands and your feet. Stretch out through your arms and your legs, reach the arms overhead, and then bend your knees, roll yourself to the right, make a fist with your left hand. When you're ready, with gratitude, press yourself up to seated. And we'll bring the hands together, palms touching. Let's bring our hands to the forehead to remind us to have clear and loving thoughts. Our hands to the heart, reminding us to have clear and loving intentions. Our hands to the mouth, reminding us to have clear and loving communication. Sending out wonderful energy to all beings everywhere. Namaste. Thanks for joining today at Fight Master Yoga. Don't forget to subscribe, push the like button, and help to support us by sharing this class and sharing our channel. And visit fightmasteryoga.com. Join our mailing list to keep up on all the things that are going on. We're going to have a new Ashtanga course come out soon. So I want to make sure you know about that's coming. And if you can afford to... Uh, donate to help support us there's a at the website you can donate once or you can go to patreon and donate monthly if you'd like have a wonderful day bye bye